Next question. Can you study in Greece no, not knowing the language? Do they teach English? Do they teach in English? Uh, yes. Fala galera, welcome back to another video. It's Marina here. For those who don't know, I am from Brazil, but I study in a university in Greece. Actually, it's a Greek college, but the university is from the UK because they have a partnership. I did a whole video on application process a few months ago and I got a ton of comments. So I decided to do this video today as like a Q&A because a lot of you asked a lot of things and I decided to reply on video. I also replied a lot of them in text, but some of you might have the same doubts, so, so I'm going to answer them right now. So if you're interested in this kind of videos on application process, getting to university, exchange progress, and travel tips in general, hit that subscribe button, don't miss any video. I usually post one video a week, usually on Wednesday, so stay tuned to that. So let's go to the video. First question. Hi, what a travel agency did you talk to or what travel agency would you recommend? So when I went to New Zealand on an exchange program in high school, I did use a travel agency. But to apply for university, you can use a travel agency, but most people don't because you're just like applying to college as you would do in your country. So you don't actually need a travel agency. What I did was I researched in websites like topuniversities.com and educations.com the universities from the countries that I chose to go so I had a set of countries that I wanted to go and then I researched the universities inside those websites and then I started to applying to them on their website another person is asking me uh, what grade did I get on my IELTS examination I got a 7 out of 9 um, but in some colleges uh, in universities you don't actually need an IELTS but it's always good to do the test to have the certification because you never know but you, su you should research because it can be either a TOEFL or an IELTS certification so make sure like you don't do the, the wrong test because some universities are picky regarding this so be careful with that but there are some people that <laughs> ask questions that I don't know how to answer because guys I am not an expert I'm just sharing my experience so if you ask could you tell me that I want to apply to a graduate in architecture engineer so which is the best university in Greece at low cost I don't know guys I went to study international hospitality management I know nothing about architecture engineering or other majors but as I told you you should research the course that you want in the country that you want in those websites I will link it here in the description below and then you find your university from there you can also I think if I'm mistaken filter by cost low cost high cost next question can you study in Greece no not knowing the language do they teach English do they teach in English uh, yes my course is not in Greek sadly I don't know like almost any Greek I only know like the basic words because my course is in English so of course you can but these are the private colleges that they teach the degree in English in the public universities in Greece it's a whole other process to get in and there they only teach in Greek next question hello Marina I am from India and I want to volunteer a uh, shout out to all my viewers in India I have a ton of them I love you guys and I love your country, I want to visit there so bad. Uh, I am from India and I want to volunteer in Greece, so I talked to a provider, they said they can give me the approval for volunteering, but they said that they are a small organization, they cannot assist with visa. So I don't know in what category of visa I will come to. Okay, so I don't know either, I actually the first time I went to Greece, uh, I had the wrong visa, because the, um, the representative for Greece here in Brazil gave me the wrong visa and that actually is pretty common in Greece people are all over the place with rules and laws so that's normal but you should go to the Greek embassy that's what I did and that's I think is the only way to do it and you should explain your situation and they will give you the right visa I think like I went there and talked in person I don't know how you could do that uh, like fully online I have no idea but if you call the Greek embassy there in India I am sure they can help you with that uh, one Greek gal messaged me a 
whole text. Um, I think I just, um, I think just unburdening all of her feelings. She's Greek and she has to study her butt off to get into university there. The universities in Greece are free for Greek citizens. And um, she is uh, thinking that it was easy for me to get into university in Greece when it actually wasn't. I think all of the countries you have to study a lot to get into university. Um, maybe I wasn't clear on the other video, but with all the documentations that you are providing the college, you have to give a ton of great certificates and examine certificates and blah blah blah. It's like every university has its um, requirements. Usually it's pretty much standard, like IELTS examination as well, proof of English. But it varies. Because when I went to New Zealand, I thought that they studied a lot less than what we do in Brazil. So yeah, like in every country we have all our difficulties and for some people it's easier, for some people it's not. But at the end of the day, the important thing is that everybody's having a second degree if they want. Next question. Uh, I am on the verge of transferring the university from Cyprus to Greece. What kind of universities do you recommend and what's, what things are required for exchanging? I don't know if you're transferring or if you are doing an exchange. So exchanging and transferring are two different things. For transferring, you should talk to both colleges, the one that you are and the one that you want to go to. And exchanging, you just find a travel agency. Obviously, you have to talk to your university as well. I don't know how that process would work. I think you can do without a travel agency, but it will be a lot easier if you do. Uh, but you can go totally on your own and you just research what university you want to go in Greece and email them and ask questions about everything about transferring or exchanging. And regarding the GPA, you said something about GPA. I have no idea. This will you have to ask to the college. So there are a lot of people in the um, admission staff in every college and they are ready to reply your emails with all of your doubts and because they want students. So. Feel free to email them, there's no trouble at all. Next question. The education is free for those who know the local language. Can you tell me this? Yes, it is free. I had to ask my Greek friend for this because I didn't know. So you're free to ask me any question that you like. I will maybe be able to answer, but maybe not. But when I don't, I ask other people that maybe are able to answer. So in this case, my friend told me that indeed her university is free. It's a Greek university, she learns everything in Greek, all the classes are in Greek. But to get into this university, you have to pass examinations like the SATs in the United States and CA in New Zealand and NA here in Brazil. You have to study a lot and pass those examinations to be admitted into a public university in Greece. It is free, but I don't know how foreigners would be able to, to apply there because of all those examinations. What I would do is recommending you what to do. Uh, I did that in New Zealand. I wanted to go to university in New Zealand, so I did the last year of high school in New Zealand. And that helps so, so much you to get into a university when you are actually in that country, knowing how the whole process works and applying with your fellow school colleagues and but if you don't have the means i will research a lot more but you can always go to a college in in greece but everything will be teached in english actually my college teaches in greek and in english so you have to research a lot uh, choose the university you want to go and research research and research next question i was interested in studying athens university of economics but I was confused by the certificate of recognition given by DOE A T A P because some requirement documents of for the application are pretty odd. Everything is odd in Greece <laughs> regarding documentation. Everything is very confused, but that's not only in Greece. When I applied to Spain, everything was very odd. Not everything, like there were a couple of documents that were like I have never heard of that were required. So I don't know, I can't help you with that but maybe if you call the embassy or the university they will be able to help you 
Next question. Can you please give me the university admission link? I am from Pakistan. I am a software engineering student and I have done my fourth semester from Pakistan. Now I want to complete my remaining semester from Greece. Guys, I don't have any link. The only links that I can give you are all description down below. This is not sponsored, uh, by the way. And you have to go there, find a university that you want that fits your needs and choose a university from there. You can filter and you can read a lot from the universities and you can learn a lot from them and then you can choose. I can make that choice for you. I don't I can't recommend universities for you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps me so so much. It helps me build this community of travelers. And feel free to leave a comment below, just say hi or ask your question, anything at all. Let's start a conversation down here. The question is, are you an undergraduate? Yes. If you are, can you please tell me about the Hellenic educational and religious affairs process and how to apply, please, before the deadline passes. So this sounds like a public universities deal. Um, you're probably researching universities uh, in public universities in Greece that uh, they only teach in Greek. And if that's not what you want, I don't know the process, I can't help you with that. But if you don't know, if you didn't know that um, these are process for public universities that they only teach Greek, you can apply for colleges. So try to find universities in Greece that are called college blah 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 or blah 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 college. They teach the bachelor in English or maybe in both. Like mine teaches in Greek and in English so you can choose. It's easier for foreigner, foreigners to apply to those colleges than to the public universities because the public university, as I told you, the pu public university process, as I told you guys, are very is very complicated, and there are not many foreigners who apply to study in public universities in Greece. So um, it's a bit unknown, and it will be taught in Greek. So I, I'm not sure if that's what you want, but try to find the colleges and make sure the degree is accepted in Greece and all over the world as well. So it's very important to research everything about your college and send emails, bother them a lot because at the end of the day you will be paying the tuition. We have the responsibility to ask you all of your questions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in and staying until the end of the video. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!